Welcome back. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. Yeah, I guess I am. Whatever. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know it's disgusting. I should be stopped, but I haven't. So please make sure you put headphones on if you have small children or any children, dogs, cats, whatever, birds, Actually, probably birds, because if they talk, then they'll definitely repeat the gross stuff that I say. I mean, it could be interesting, but whatever. Anyway, if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul. I'll remember our time fondly. It's so easy to say Tom fondly. So, hey, Tom fondly. How are you? Y'all, I am excited because I didn't get to do one, I don't think, of these videos in July. It is July. I have no concept of time. I don't know what day it is. Who am I? Welcome to New Nonsense Makeup Bingo. And if you've never seen any of these videos before, you're in for a treat. The beautiful, the wonderful, the vivacious Emily Hanhan created this wonderful idea and I'm just merely riding her coattails as I do in every one of these videos. Essentially the premise of this video is that we talk about new makeup releases, we drink a couple of adult libations, and we play bingo because that's fun. Emily and I pull together some images and we use a random number generator and that's kind of how we play bingo. If you're ever interested in making one of these videos or playing bingo or whatnot, everything will be listed in the description box below along with Emily's video as well. Go say hi to Emily. She has a wonderful channel. She's an adorable peanut that makes really colorful eye looks and has very colorful language. And we love that on this channel. I was about to go take a sip and I was like, no, no, you're not done with your intro. <laughs> Have some self-control. <laughs> I don't know what that is. What, the, what am I saying? Oh yeah, here are the images. Em here are the images. What is an image? I swear, I, I literally had two sips. Two sips. All right, here are some of the images. <laughs> I'm gonna throw down some, I'm gonna throw down. What am I even saying? This is not throw down with Bobby Flay. Hi. I'm gonna show you the images that we may or may not be talking about in this episode of Makeup Bingo. Without further ado, welcome to motherfucking Makeup Bingo. Cheers. Yeah! I'm drinking a mojito out of a catheter bag. I mean, I might as well just leave it right here. This is what happens in a pandemic. So the first thing I pull is one size fits all. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so. Not gonna lie, didn't expect this. I expected a palette, I expected a powder, I expected anything but makeup wipes. And I was really curious because I love this, you know, play on like one size because yes, there's a lot of things that says one size fits all, but in reality, that's not the case ever. So I was really like, ooh, this what, what could this possibly be? I get it, it's truly one size fits all. <laughs> it's a makeup remover. Now the wipes, $15 for 21 wipes. First of all, I know makeup wipes are not good for the environment. So it's kind of interesting that he's releasing that. I know the wipes I think are the size of uh, beach towels <laughs> compared to like the Neutrogena wipe. So that's awesome. Cause I know there has been many times where I have used multiple makeup wipes to get rid of something. So it's, it's really nice that there's like a big size. However, I've heard that they are dry and they're not that great. I did hear that the Go Off Makeup Dissolving Mist is actually worth it. And that's $24. So if I were to ever pick up anything from this brand, it would definitely be the mist. However, 
I feel like I'm saying however so many fucking times, but however. I have so many balms at this point. I have so many makeup erasers that I'm like, eh, I don't really need to rush out and get this. I think for his initial launch, this is cool. Like it's something, it's something definitely different, but eh. <laughs> I don't, I'm trying to think of like something like really thoughtful to say. Chep Chep, anything? Yeah, I know, it's just a fucking makeup wipe. I don't, I don't know what else you want me to say. Um, we're just gonna move on. <laughs> I have nothing else to fucking say other than like, congratulations, that's awesome. On my bingo card, I'm gonna mark your little ass as new influencer brand because you are. Welcome to Sephora, sweetie. And um, I'm sure you're gonna do very, very well. This is a little underwhelming. Okay, there, I said it, it's underwhelming. I don't feel that bad now, it's underwhelming. Next. Yeah! Woo! Ooh, Fenty. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh, that mojito's gonna go down real easy. All right, Fenty skin. Actually, you know what, Emily? We really should, <laughs> we should have a fucking new square on this thing that says uh, new skincare brand because everybody and their mother's putting out a fucking skincare brand these days. I'm not gonna lie though, the fat water toner, I was like, I feel personally attacked, but I'm also very interested. <laughs> and it doesn't help that it looks like fat. It kind of resembles what I imagine like the back of a plastic surgery office to have, you know, like in the dumpsters, like the bags of fat, like that's what it looks like. Or the pink goo from Ghostbusters too. Either way, kind of interested in checking that out, but it's a fucking toner at the end of the day. I feel like toners is the least exciting item of skincare routines. The packaging is kind of funny because it reminds me of that, uh, whatever, the fucking stranger the Stranger Girl Things. The Stranger Things Girl, Millie, Bobby, Brown, Joe, Susie, Bob, this, th this girl, whatever, this girl, this girl, that girl, Eleven. Eleven's makeup brand, it kind of reminds me of that, but then it also reminds me of Kylie's skin. This packaging is not really that far off of what is already existing in her makeup lines. Maybe it's just the purple shade that's kind of throwing me off a little bit. But in any case, there's a cleanser, a fat water toner, and a day cream with SPF. I don't know the prices. It looks like it's going to come out at the end of the month. I'm very particular about skincare. The only thing I would ever consider picking up is probably the fat water toner, only because it's called fat water toner. <laughs> And as a fat person, I feel like I'm obligated to buy it. I feel like when a makeup brand comes out with a skincare line, it's never amazing. Same thing for skincare lines that come out with a makeup brand. Do correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think I've really seen anything that has a fantastic makeup as well as skincare that isn't like La Mer. And I only say La Mer because I really do enjoy their foundation. I know, I don't know who I am anymore, okay? So where you meet Michelle Wong one fucking time and then there you go, you just buy La Mer all the time, all right? So let me know down below if I'm wrong. I probably am, I am. What can I say? I'm day drinking. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. <laughs> and any koozie with, I gotta go. In any case, I don't think I can call this anything. Congratulations, girl. I hope you do well. And I actually hope the products are good and if any of you bubbies buy the products and you, uh, feel that they're good and you just want to talk shit to me, let me know. Feel free to message me. I would love to know about it. So the next one is Too Faced. <clears throat> Too Faced is also coming out with new skincare and lip products and blah, 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 blah. All right, so can I, who's excited for Too Faced anymore? I feel like I haven't been excited for Too Faced since Christmas time. And it's only because they killed me with their gingerbread man bronzer. Like I lost my fucking mind because it was shaped as a gingerbread man. Like who wouldn't? Only monsters wouldn't react the way that I did when purchasing that bronzer. They're coming out with a plump and prime face plumping primer serum. It's a lot of peas. Plump and prime face priming primer serum. Peter Piper picked pickles, peppers for $42. So we have that. Then we have the Lip Injection Maximum Plump Extra Strength Lip Plumper. It sounds very wish to me. And then the Lip Injection Power Plumping Lip Gloss with Say My Name, Secure the Bag. Oh, blast. Oh, blast. 
Oh, blast. Who says that? That's like watching a fucking movie on TV and they just cut out the curse word. So instead of like hearing someone say like, fuck you, they're like, fooey. That's basically the same fucking thing. Go fuck yourself. Star are, star are aligned. Star are aligned. Pretty Pony, just friends. Oh, that's a sad one. Secret sauce, that's disgusting. <laughs> Oh, we all know it's fucking mayonnaise left out in the sun. All right. Glossy and bossy, hot love, wifey for lifey. Just destroy me right now. Just fucking destroy me. Just a girl, people pleaser. <laughs> That's a sad one too. Wanna play, paid off. Okay, you know what? The fucking shade names of the lip glosses sound way more interesting than the actual products themselves. That's just a bucket of sand. Honestly, I don't really care about any of this shit. I feel like this is kind of geared towards like little girls or geared towards like, I even saying it just makes me grossed out. Barely legal teens. Yeah. <laughs> It's grossing me out. Trust me as I'm, and I'm not even saying anything terrible, but it's just, it just, Mm -mm. Like this is just all high school. I'm 34. <laughs> like I'm too old. I'm too fat for this. I can't. Um, so we're gonna say a no because uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stop myself before I cancel myself. <laughs> what well, we are gonna call this though? Yet another lip gloss or not another lip gloss or oh boy, there's lip glosses. Wait, what the fuck is? <laughs> Man, that mojito is crazy. All right, that's called yet another lip gloss. Check, 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 check. Check, please. Yeah! All right, Sephora came out. <laughs> Sephora came out with some fall items, okay? And it was the pumpkin infused brush set and it's the pumpkin infused sponge set. I know you're probably saying like, Listen, mama, I hear you, okay? I am one of those people that are classified as a weirdo, right? I think it's fall every day. It's Halloween every day in my head. So I feel like this was targeted just for me. <laughs> I may be the seven other people that really want pumpkin spice lattes right now. <laughs> oh, me and all the ag wearing bitches. So when I saw this, I remember I saw it, I think at like two o'clock in the morning. Like I, I woke up in the middle of the night, like worried about work. And I was like, you know what? I just need to take my mind off of things. So I'm like on Instagram, looking at trend mood. And when I saw this, can I, I shit you not, I literally got up and I just went to my wallet, took out my fucking debit card. <laughs> I was just like, all right, we're gonna be purchasing you. All right, it was a fever dream. That's all I can say. So I actually have these items. And um, if you think I'm joking, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if anything, you know what they're infused with? chemicals <laughs> like it's not it's it's like it's worse than fake pumpkin and i know a lot of people are like oh my god pumpkin spice and you know and toothpaste and toilet paper and listen i agree with you i think there is a time and a place for pumpkin and it's definitely not in those items and honestly it's definitely not in sponges either <laughs> because i don't have a sense of smell so i had to ask my husband to smell these and i was like hey babe do these smell like pumpkin? He's like, if that's pumpkin, I don't wanna live on this planet anymore. And honestly, I don't blame him. These smell like chemicals. Finally, they stopped smelling them because I've actually had to wash them and then use them. Now it smells like foundation or what I think foundation smells like. I don't know. I don't have a fucking sense of smell. I also purchased the brush set. So this is the foundation one and this one, uh, again, infused with pumpkin chemical. It smelled really weird and uh, it was awful to put on my face. I don't recommend it. The other brushes in the collection, once you get past the chemicals, <laughs> they're fine. They're part of my collection. Are they the best brushes in the world? Absolutely not. But they get the job done. They were 18 bucks. And they have these really beautiful Harvest pumpkin handles. Listen guys, I'm very easy to please. Obviously. If we're going to look in our bingo card, this is a motherfucking cash grab. An early cash grab too, might I add. But a cash grab nonetheless. Next. Yeah! Okay, so the next one is from P. Louise. Ooh. Not gonna lie, I want this so bad my dick hurts. I am excited for this. I have never tried anything from the brand other than the base and the base is okay. I don't think it's all that great. Yes, come for me in the comments. I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. 
not only do you get the eyeshadow palette, but you do get an eye brush set and a two nude lip duo. Oh my God, is this collection for me? Holy shit. I like it. I can fuck with this. With that said, because it's pink, I'm going to use my Millennial Pink Spot, which is the... 2,000 years later. Which is the Millennial Pink Packaging. Sorry, that took way too long to locate on my bingo card. For a second, I was like, did Emily remove it? And what am I looking at? <laughs> Anyway, next. Yeah! Oh my God, Smashbox re-released their highlighter. Oh, it's not Smashbox, my bad. Mm. Huda Beauty is coming out with a new highlighter called Nymph, all over a highlighting powder. A collectible highlighter in a 10 centimeter diameter, nearly four inches, geometric rose design, 55 bucks. All right, all right. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, like look my nose up at this because I have, you know, purchased Burberry highlighters. Dare I say that are worth the fucking money. Not gonna lie, when I first saw this, I was like taken back because I was like, oh my God, this is really pretty. And then when I realized it wasn't Smashbox and it was Huda, I was like, mm. <laughs> I was like, oh no. And then I saw the swatch and it was the most underwhelming thing I've ever seen in my life. I was like, I was expecting it to be like dripping, slutty, wet. And if anything, it's like, <laughs> it's the pre come of all highlighters. I'm not into this. This is not even tickling my balls a little bit here. No, mm -mm. <laughs> I'm disgusting. Eh, whatever, I could have fucking said worse shit. Yeah, I could always say worse shit, whatevs. We're gonna end this quick because I don't really give a fuck about that brand. We're gonna call this a copycat. That was the first thing I thought of. That was a Smashbox highlighter, so. Good job being a copycat. <laughs> Next. Yeah! Oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm excited for this. This is the Midas Cosmetics Neon MUA collaboration. So I think I talked briefly about this maybe in the last video. Now they've released what the actual palettes look like. What I love about this is that there is something for everyone. Obviously the Dawn palette speaks to me because it looks like it's so uncooked chicken friendly. I'm excited and I probably could get away with the noon. The Dusk and Midnight though, they look so fucking cool. I'm excited to see people play with those palettes. This is fucking awesome. Now to kind of go back to the lightest palette again, Dawn, what I appreciate also about it is that it's not fucking orange. When you're basically see-through like myself, a lot of times when it comes to bronzer, it just makes you look like a giant fucking puff Cheeto. So I'm really excited for this because it reminds me of the Makeup Geek face palette before they discontinued it. That was a great fucking palette. This gives me the vibe of that, except this one actually has a bronzer and a contour shade. So I'm excited for this. Plus I love Midas Cosmetics. Rocio is fucking great. Neon MUA is fucking awesome. And I'm just so happy for him. I'm happy for her. I'm happy for the just the whole collaboration. So I'm really excited. Plus they were just featured in Allure. That's fucking great like that like ugh. so I wish them nothing but success love like the whole nine yards I cannot wait to get my hands on that dawn palette so I can fuck me up some of that with that said I don't think I can call this anything it should we should fucking make a bingo square that's just like finally something for everybody <laughs> What the fuck is this? What is this? Stop it. Stop it. First of all, what the fuck did Wonder Woman come out? Was that like fucking three years ago? Why are they still making collections? Why? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Why is that a fucking thing? Am I living in a fucking simulation? Is this the Matrix? Is something glitching? Didn't we just have this? Didn't we? In this collection, you get a face and eye palette for $14.99. You get lipsticks for $8.49. Color stay, glaze stick. <laughs> Uh, I'm just guessing. $7.99, Warrior Glitter Lip Color, $10.99. Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse, $9.99. Kiss Melting Shine Lipstick, $12.99. All right, I'm getting bored just reading that. Ugh, who cares? Not gonna lie, some of the lipsticks kind of look patchy and also wet at the same time. Don't know what that's about. The eyeshadow, I wanna know why they felt they didn't need to include actual swatches. Instead, they just broke the shadows on a fucking piece of paper, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why whatever actually to kind of think of it i don't think i've ever tried anything from reblon eyeshadow wise am i missing out let me know down below is there anything good from revlon no there is is there anything good from revlon i feel like there was i don't know 
know. Let me know. Mm -hmm. But this collection, I just, it's just like, I, I don't know why they're doing this. Uh, is there a new, wait, 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 is there a new movie coming out? Is that why? Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I'm fucking stupid. Is there a new movie coming out? Oh, there is. Okay, okay. Fucking disregard everything I was saying, bitch. I had no idea that there was a new movie coming out for October. Okay, okay. All right. For a second, I was really scared because I just assumed. I just assumed they were talking about makeup that was many years ago. I need to get back on the internet because obviously I wasn't aware of this fucking, um, this movie. Disregard everything that I fucking said and I guess it makes sense. Well, I feel like a fucking idiot. For y'all that were teenagers in, in 1984, does that make sense? I mean, I was born in 1985, so like, I don't know what things were in the early 80s. Does that color story make sense? I feel like it's a hodgepodge. I don't know. This is like a hodgepodge to me. What is this? In any case, I don't think I can call this anything. Uh, yeah, I can't call this shit. Okay, whatever. Next. The next product is from Charlotte Chilberry. And this is the <laughs> Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. I think I need to call the police because we're having a NARS orgasm situation going on. We need to stop them. I get it, I get it. Pillow Talk is your fucking bread and butter, but we also don't wanna beat a dead horse. You know what I mean? And this is beating a dead horse. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just tired y'all. I'm just tired of it. The packaging, stunning. That is the one thing I will say is that Charlotte Tilbury fucking kills it with classic old school Hollywood timeless packaging. She fucking kills it with that. But I'm just tired of like, just the, like we, give me something new, baby. Give me something new. Don't be NARS. Stop being NARS, okay? What we're gonna call this one right here, we're gonna call this a collab product that won't die. <laughs> because I don't think it will ever die. When the world officially ends, you know what's gonna be here? Twinkies, cockroaches, NARS orgasm, and Charlotte Tilbury's pillow talk. And that's it. It's gonna be a really scary time. Um, since I finished my mojito, I'm going with wine. All right, the next product is, <laughs> oh, what is this? <laughs> what is this? All right, so Ulta came out with the Harry Potter collection. Sorry, <laughs> there's, there's no words for that one. Basically, they have um, house-inspired eyeshadow palettes, a brush set, some, I don't even, what is this? What the fuck is, a jelly puff? Ooh. Oh, okay, jelly puff sounds interesting. I could fuck up a jelly puff. Here's my issue with it. Harry Potter, I don't mind. I like Harry Potter, right? We all love Harry Potter, whatever. I am a true Hufflepuff and I married a Slytherin. My issue is that I don't think these represent the houses very well. I'm kind of underwhelmed by like this collection. It feels like a soft wash of colors for each house. Like for Slytherin is so muted. I would have assumed it would be like what I have on my eyes today. Which if you wanna know what is currently on my eyes today, let's fucking zoom you in. So what's on my eyes is currently the BH Pistachio. Pistachio palette? I don't, I don't know why I had to say pistachio like that. But anyway, this is the pistachio palette. And you know, I have to say, I actually really like it though. I think I'm gonna be talking about it a little bit more though in a fun size review. So I can let you know if I really love the wear of this. But uh, so far, so good. Moral of the story is, I expected the palette to kind of have like these greens, but no, instead they're very, very muted. And it's just like, eh. Honestly, y'all, I don't really know too much about Ulta quality. I have heard some things have been really awesome, and then I've also heard some things are really bad. Is this like a Wonder Woman situation? Is there another movie coming out and I'm not aware of it? Let me know down below, because like, why are we doing this collection? Like, when was the last time a Harry Potter movie came out? Nine years ago. Okay, 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 okay. Why is this out? Is there like a book or something coming out? If we're gonna say like, this is the pulse of, you know, entertainment, my finger is straight up my asshole. <laughs> Cause I am obviously nowhere near that. This collaboration is like the equivalent of like a sexy nun outfit. So I'm gonna call this a bundle deal that nobody wants. Yeah! 
The next is from Josa Colors. Okay, so Josa Colors is coming out with the Smoky Soiree and Cutting Edge palette, and they actually have been released. Annette's Makeup Corner has a video on the palette, so if you're interested, go check her out, and if I'm sober enough to remember, I'll leave it down below. If not, I love you, Annette. You're great. <laughs> These palettes came out, and initially I was like, eh. And then I saw more pictures of them, and then I saw more swatches, and I was like, I kinda need this. But here's my thing though. I have tried Dose of Colors, and I don't like them. I just don't like it. I never liked any of the matte palettes that I have ever had from them. I have decluttered them. I already stopped myself from purchasing it because I'm like, you don't even like this fucking eyeshadow formula. However, maybe they changed, and maybe I need to find out. And then I think about how they kind of remind me a little bit, especially the Smoky Soiree. They remind me of one of the Kaleidos palettes that came out, and I'm like, you know, if I really, really wanted that Smoky palette, I could just use the Kaleidos palette and it'll be fine. The green palette on the other side kind of looks like a Kaleidos palette, but also kind of looks like the Safari palette from Colored Rain. And you know, I, I, I like the Colored Rain palette, so maybe I don't necessarily need this. I, I'm into it, but like, it's not enough for me to actually want to purchase it though. We're just gonna keep trying Trucking along. Next. So this is from Sugary Cosmetics. Not gonna lie, when I first saw this, right, I assumed that Bombshell Cosmetica put their store back up. Okay, where do we begin? Let's unpack this. Why do brands feel the need to create food themed palettes? Maybe it's because I'm 34. I feel like this is just really geared towards like little girls. If I had to pick and choose, like, and, and granted, don't get me wrong, this is coming from the person that really loves that goddamn Moschino Bear laptop bear palette, which is fucking stupid, by the way, but it's stupid good. I just feel like a fucking asshole. Oh my god, guys, like, like, no, I got my eye look from this popcorn. And also, like, these colors don't even match, like, what popcorn's supposed to be. A true popcorn palette would be a bunch of shades of like neutrals, maybe like a pale yellow. But when I see this, I'm just like, what the fuck is this? Like, who is this for? Besides like this really weird fucking neon popcorn moment, you have brushes, brushes are fine, nothing wrong with them. Then you have a soda palette. The soda thing doesn't even make fucking sense. Why OMG dot dot dot? What the fuck is this? <laughs> like who? I'm sorry, but no, no bro, no. Honestly, the packaging for the like, uh, I don't know, what the fuck are those called? Like the little, the little boards that you like, like action, whatever. <laughs> uh, whatever those fucking things are called. Like that part of the packaging is cute. The actual lipstick component, not really so much. Candy Pops is the only thing that's adorable. That's cute. That's cute. That's it. If you're going to be making a bunch of cosmetics that are supposed to be like either food themed or movie themed or do a better job. Do a better job of fucking naming these things. Like the fuck does that even mean? Jeeper, right? What the, where the fuck am I? Like where the fuck am I right now? What planet am I living on? Stop making fucking food things. Like just stop. Or you know what? Here's the thing. If you're gonna make them fucking food things, at least make them cute. Make them adorable. To fucking take a page out of fucking Makeup Revolution's fucking book. Cause at least their stupid shit is cute. This is just like, what is this? And I, and I don't want to sound like such an asshole, and I know I'm, I'm sounding like an asshole. I know, I get it, I get it. If you're going to pick this realm, at least make it make sense. I think we can all agree on that. Also, where the fuck are they getting this weird packaging from? And who gets popcorn like that? That shit looks gross. <laughs> What is this? What is this? Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. We're gonna stop right here. <laughs> and we're gonna call this, I'm gonna call this a catfish. You know why I'm gonna call this a catfish? Because when I first saw this, I fucking assumed it was Bombshell Cosmetica rise from the ashes to steal more people's money. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Can't sue me. <laughs> Next. Yeah! You gotta be fucking kidding me. Come on. What are the odds of this bitch? What are the odds? Makeup Revolution <laughs> is coming out with the Revolution drive through Grilled Cheesy Vegan Stack. Not gonna lie, the names are fucking adorable. All right, the, see, at least they get it. If they're going to go all out and be cheesy as fuck, at least they're gonna be really cute about it. I appreciate that. Are these shadows gonna be good? Probably not. Oh, the, you know what though? Not gonna lie, the fucking, the vegan one actually looks pretty cute. Okay, never mind. 
I think they're just like really leaning into it. The food theme now, I, I think I'm just like really over it. And that's really funny because I literally just bought the fucking <laughs> Peach pistachio palette. But to my credit though, at least this palette is not in the shape of a fucking ice cream cone, okay? That's where I draw the line. I don't think I will pick this up. It's like one of those joke things. Like it looks really cute on your vanity and people are gonna be like, is that a hamburger? And you'd be like, no, it's an eyeshadow palette. And then some weird 90s dance music plays and you just stay up all night and you, you prank call your crush. You know it's not like the palette that you're gonna be taking with you like on your vacation. Well, we can't even go on vacation. We're living in fucking COVID. Okay, the days when we used to go on vacation <laughs> and we used to like do fun things and like, you know, like you had like your weekend trip, like that sexy weekend trip. You're not packing a hamburger with you. Like, we're not doing that, all right? And if you are, I have a lot of questions for you and I would love for you to come on this channel and we can just talk about them. We need to unpack some stuff. No, like this is just like a joke gimmicky shit. Like you give to your like fucking niece or something like that. They're like, they want to get into makeup and you don't want to give them Too Faced because Too Faced is really over fucking price. So instead you just give them this. This is what it's appropriate for. You give this to your 12 year old niece and that's that. So with that said, we're just gonna call this a food theme makeup release and just call it a fucking day. And I swear to God, if I get another food item, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. Next. Yeah! All right, so the next one is, come on, you gotta be fucking shitting me. Glam Light <laughs> It's coming out with a donut palette. Just when you thought food was enough, bitch, nope, we got a fucking donut. So not only do we have movie snacks, we have a hamburger, and then we have a fucking donut. Sorry, I didn't mean to flip you off. My apologies. What I will say is that I do own the Glam Light palette. I own the burger palette, and that's a good palette. I like that palette. It has really good quality. Do I reach for it all the time? No, I don't. I just don't. Because it's big, it's bulky, it's just, you know, eh. I have a thousand other palettes I'd rather reach for before that one. With that said, I know the quality has been pretty solid. I think out of all the food palettes, this is probably the best iteration of them, but still, it's like, when are we done here? When are we when are we done? When are we done with these palettes? I'm curious to see if they're ever going to branch out of food. I feel like they have. I feel like they have actually. No, they have. They have had regular palettes, and maybe they just don't do well. And maybe more of the these kind of palettes do better. But the color story is really cute. Yes, it's adorable. It's definitely, you know, filling that like weird Nickelodeon 90s theme that we're all living in right now. I know, you know, we all know we're not gonna be reaching for a fucking donut. So I kind of feel like you can save that money and you could buy the Lethal Cosmetics After Dark palette because it's essentially almost a very similar color story in that regard. If you are interested in this color story, you should check out the After Dark palette. And I swear to God, if I get one more fucking food release item, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna fucking quit because this is bullshit. Like this is bullshit. Cause I mean, how many fucking things do we possibly need of food? Like enough's enough. All right. With that said, I fucking, next, whatever. <laughs> All hail King Colourpop! Oh my god. Colourpop, I missed you, you silly bastard. All right. Colourpop is coming out, of, I guess since California kind of reopened, but now they're closing back up again. Which, by the way, guys, if you're not outside with a fucking mask on, just go home. Just go home. Stop, stop, stop this tomfoolery shit. This is the Wild Nothing palette. Or, I'm sorry, Wild Nothing collection. The eyeshadow palette, not gonna lie. Looks really cute and I was kind of into, but then I was like, oh, I have the fucking Lime Crime Venus too. I don't need it. There are cream shadows, which look kind of interesting. They kind of look like MAC paint pots a little bit. And then there are blush compacts, which I feel like are not super inclusive, <laughs> but you know, who am I? Who am I? Uh, there is a new Lux lip oil, and then there's some Jelly Mutt shadows. The Jelly Mutt shadows, I feel like, are really fucking cool. And I think that was the thing that I was like, ooh, maybe I should pick those up. But then I'm like, you know, I feel like I'm just gonna use them once and then they're gonna sit in the back of a drawer and fucking die, so eh. The cream eyeshadows look interesting and maybe it's the swatches or something, but they just kind of look dirty and gray. <laughs> so I don't really know what that's about. It could be just bad swatches. The palette does look pretty. Again, it always draws me in, but honestly though, if you just put your finger over the middle part of that palette. You don't need this. You know, I'm, I'm gonna say it. The fact that Corona has been going on, you know, ColourPop has been pretty quiet. So it's kind of nice to see them coming back. Oh, 
I kind of missed you being annoying and constantly having posts. Like, I missed that. I'm happy to see that they're alive and well. By the way, I believe it's fucking sold out. I think it sold out really fast because people were fiending like motherfuckers for some ColourPop. Mm -mm. So we're gonna call this a ColourPop release and we are going to move the fuck on. Next. Yeah! The next ones. <laughs> All right, this is from Louboutin Beauty. I haven't ventured off into this high-end land. I, as you guys know, I'm starting to get really bougie and I haven't reached over to Louboutin because it's just everything that I have seen from them, whether it's been nail polish or lipsticks, it just hasn't really interested me. I'm not gonna lie, these look like fucking butt plugs. $90 for a butt plug is pretty fucking expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I need a code with Adam and Eve. I think that's what I need. Adam and Eve, if you're watching, come on, let's let's do a garbage code together. I'm feeling it. <laughs> we can talk about butt plugs. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Pa uh, <sighs> There's nothing amazing about these products that I'm just like, oh my god, like I need to have them. This is just so gaudy, like shitty fucking Christmas ornament that's a dollar in a Target bargain bin. That's exactly what this looks like. And unfortunately I don't have a um, sex object <laughs> on this bingo card, so we're just gonna have to keep it going. Next. Yeah! Oh man. I don't think I have enough wine for this one. Okay, so Becca came out with the No Pigment Collection, Zero Collection, No Pigment Virtual Foundation. No pigment, highlighter for face and lip. This has to be the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. I feel like there's only maybe 10% of the, you know, people who wear makeup could potentially wear this. And it's for those who still have hopes and dreams. This is probably good for a child. <laughs> like if we're gonna be fucking real here. First of all, this just looks so disgusting. I have seen fucking videos of people applying it. Just so gross. It's just so thick looking. It looks terrifying. This is what I picture the future to look like. It's like the emperor's new clothes of foundation. It doesn't make any fucking sense. I'm sorry, I'm gonna pay $36 for fucking literally KY jelly. <laughs> Who would have thought something really great for lubricant I could put on my face? <laughs> like what is this shit? The pictures of the people putting it on too, they look so fake. They look fake. It's weird. Like I almost prefer them with nothing on their face because they look better. They look hydrated. And then when you see them with the product on, it's just, they look so fucking flat. They look two dimensional. It's creepy. I don't like it. No, thank you. Also, you know, here's the other thing that's fucked up. You chose two models that have beautiful fucking skin, beautiful skin. Show me Darlene, the woman that has been working 16 hours every fucking day, that has a, a permanent fucking mark around their goddamn nose and face because of the mask that they have to fucking wear every day. Show me the product on her. That's what I want to see. Don't show it on these beautiful women that have amazingly beautiful plump baby-esque skin. Fuck out of here. <laughs> they haven't seen the shit that we've all seen. <laughs> These ladies don't even have lines in her face. What are they, fucking 10? Get out of here. Lies, you're selling me a lie, Becca. Also, what the fuck is up with the packaging? What is this fucking space orb? I don't get it. The pigment highlighter for face and lip. I heard that that's sticky and fucking weird too. So like jizz, I, 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 no. Actually, you know what's really funny? <laughs> and like to me, it makes no sense. It's like, you're gonna apply this foundation and mattify your face. Then you're gonna add this little highlighter to bring hydration to your face. How about, I don't know, just don't wear either one of these fucking products and save yourself some fucking money and you could look exactly the same without <laughs> using either one of these products. All right, anyway, we're gonna call this foundation again. Although it should just be called it's a fucking lie, but whatever, that's not on my bingo card. Next. Yeah! So the next one I pull is from Lunar Skies Beauty. <laughs> it's another fucking food item. <laughs> Like, I don't want any more food items. Oh my God. That's like the fucking fourth one today. I don't think we've ever had that many food items in one fucking makeup bingo. This is intense. This is intense. 
Holy shit. Okay, so at least this one is not in the shape of a fucking cake, so I guess that's good. She's a cute pastel rainbow palette, essentially. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Violet Voss Sugar Crystals palette. So it's like, ugh, do you really need it? Like, I know uh, fucking pastels are in right now. It's fine. Like, it's a fine palette. I'm just tired of this fucking food shit. I think I'm just too old. <laughs> I'm too old, I'm too angry, I'm literally two days away from just yelling at some kid on my lawn if I had a lawn. I don't really have anything funny to say about it other than I'm just really over food and I'm just tired. So we're gonna sit for the next minute in silence. On my bingo card, I'm gonna mark this as a rainbow palette. <laughs> We're just gonna fucking move on. Yeah! Oh my God, I hit make a bingo. That was rough, that was fucking rough. Please make sure to go check out Emily Hanhan, my little adorable tofu covered in peanut sauce. Go check out her channel. She also does live streams with Audra at Home and Kara C. Both wonderful ladies. I just, I love them all. They're like a little group that I just wanna scrunch up and eat. They're fabulous. Now, with that said, let me know down below how you feel about the products that I mentioned. If you're gonna be picking them up, if you're not, if you don't care, if people, wow, blah, 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 blah. who cares? Let's let me know. I love hearing from you guys. And I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter. Instagram, Discord, Patreon, which, ah, oh, to my adorable little bubby patrons. I love your faces so much. You have no idea. I adore the hell out of you guys. And I just want to say thank you so much for keeping this garbage boat afloat. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I can't wait for all of us to be together one day. And I'm going to tell you bedtime stories and feed you warm milk and s'mores. It won't be creepy at all, I promise. Maybe a little, who cares? If you wanna know what is currently on my face along with everything that I mentioned in this video and along with where to get my merch, which by the way, I do have a lovely podcast called Dead and Bored. If you're interested and you wanna hear me and my husband yell about Canadian children from Are You Afraid of the Dark, please go ahead and check us out. We are ridiculously disgusting and I love it. It's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> With that said, my little chocolate croissants, which by the way is courtesy of Marie Vincent, who told me I should to call you babies that. So my little peno chocolat or my chocolate croissants. Keep staying safe. Keep fighting that good fight. Wash your hands and wear a mask. And I'll see you little chocolate croissants later. Bye.